well, Chief. Uh, despite your tip, it's clear that this was no common vandal. This looks like the work of a deranged criminal mastermind. <laughs> Saints preserve us! If you're saying what I think you're saying, then we'd better watch our step. It's just like me mother always used to say, a goose never voted for an early Christmas. Chief! Hey, sorry, sir. <laughs> I just came from Arkham Asylum, and the warden tells me that the Riddler, the Joker, Catwoman, and the Penguin have all escaped this reeks of their sociopathic mischief. Jesus, Mary and Joseph! What do you figure we should do? Well, Chief, if we were back at headquarters, I would just simply send up the back signal. But we don't have that luxury now. We have to come up with a backup plan. We're just going to have to improvise. Chief! Hi, sir! Hand me the portable bat signal. Good <laughs> 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 ah. <laughs> 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 work, sir! Now what? Well, now all we can do is wait. <laughs> A thousand pardons, gentlemen. We got here as quickly as traffic would allow. Is there trouble? Someone broke into this lab, Batman, and they made off with whatever was on this table. And they left this. A riddle! <laughs> Not just a riddle, old chum, <laughs> but specifically the work of that notorious fiend, the Riddler. Holy deja vu, Batman! Didn't we just lock him up last week? It's worse than that, boy wonder. The Riddler is not the only felonious malefactor on the land. The Joker, Catwoman, and the Penguin have also just escaped. How did you know, Batman? I just found out myself. The Bat Computer, of course. It's tied into a worldwide information network. <laughs> That's incredible. Perhaps the whole world could benefit from such a network. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got time to sit around for hours at the computer? It'll never catch on, I tell you. It's just like me wicked Uncle Patty used to say. The honey may be sweet, but that don't mean you should lick it off of the briar. <laughs> Rub it. <laughs> what does that card say was on this table? Molecular mass divisor. Molecular mass divisor? But that's impossible, Batman. Newton's second law clearly states matter cannot be created nor destroyed. It's crime fighting. See that crime fighting has not gotten in the way of your homework. You're quite right. It's the basic law which is the bedrock of modern physics. But Newton neglected to consider the possibility that matter could get smaller. Holy shrinking ray, Batman! Indeed. How typical of these tireless practitioners of deviance that not even scientific law is safe from their coarse violations. Gentlemen, <laughs> if you'll excuse us, to the Batcave, old chum. Scene two. <laughs> the Batcave. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at stately Wayne Manor, Arthur is dusty. He is clearly disgusted. Aunt Harriet enters and fixes herself before springing on him. Why, there you are, Alfred. I've been looking for you all evening. What have you been doing? Hiding? Uh, why, just tidying up, madam. Master Wayne will be home any minute now. Well, until he arrives, I could use some fresh linens in my bedroom. Yes, sir. <laughs> I will attend to it. Oh, I'm afraid I can't wait, Alfred. I need you now. Madam. I am very good now. Say something British. <laughs> Madam like some tea? Oh my god, that is so hot. <laughs> there it is again, I tell you that noise, that horrible noise. You mean the subway? Uh, but, but Gotham doesn't have a subway. Madam. Uh, perhaps Madam would like a medication. Uh, yes. Yes, I think that's best. <laughs> Come on, that's it. Keep them coming. Uh, one more. Yeah. Batman and Robin <laughs> enter in civilian clothes. They are guarded at the sight of Aunt Harriet. Oh, there you boys are. I swear I don't know what you're up to all the time. Ha <laughs> ha! Aunt Harriet! Well, what a pleasure. I, I see uh, you've noticed. I, um, uh, what I mean to say is... Oh, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Don't you think I know what's going on? Oh, you do? Of course, Dick. Your old Aunt Harriet didn't just fall off the turnip truck. Besides, it's perfectly natural <laughs> for two attractive, 
live, virile, young men to <laughs> turn their thoughts to thoughts of love. Oh, no, 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 I just remembered, Alfred. When I was in, up for a midnight snack last night, I found this writing crop in the pantry. Oh, that was mine. I didn't know that. I mean, it was notes. We, we do not own any horses. Well, I was renting. I mean, much better deal, you know. More variety. Well, I'd be more careful when you rent your horses. After all, you shouldn't need a muzzle when you go riding. <laughs> well, don't worry about that, Bruce. It's nothing I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> now that you'll excuse me, boys. Aunt Harriet needs a nap. She and Alfred leave. <laughs> Charming, woman. Okay, Robin. Do you still have the Riddler's fiendish criminal conundrum? Right here, Batman! Read it to me again. A man must be vi vigilant always in the seasons of cold and of flu. And when he's pursued by a doctor, it's clear what a man has to do. But how would this citizen fare if he found himself followed by two? What does it mean, Batman? Well, it's clear, old chum that anecdotally, there is only one obvious way to keep a doctor away. <laughs> Apple! That's right. <laughs> and then he mentions two doctors. And that bit of business about a citizen fair. Apples, two apples, citizen fair. That's it, Robin! Apple two mainframe fair at the Gotham Citizen Center. <laughs> <laughs> of course! But it doesn't make sense. How could they possibly steal a mainframe? Even with all four of them, those computers fill three rooms with relays and vacuum tubes. A tall order to be sure. If you weren't in possession of a prototype molecular mass divisor. <gasps> Holy deductive reasoning, Batman! <laughs> yes, my own chum. But, <laughs> but why go through all this trouble to shrink a computer, Batman? What possible reason could you have for a, a portable computer? <laughs> I don't know, old chum. It doesn't seem a thing a sane man would do. But whatever it is these nefarious criminals have planned, we have got to stop them. To the Batmobile. <laughs> Scene 3, a big gala event. Gotham Citizen Center, ornately decorated for the Apple II International Mainframe Fair. And Harriet is about to address the capacity crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, and honored guests, fellow conventioneers, hey! Hey, bitch! <laughs> Gotham Ladies Auxiliary, I'd like to thank Professor Lee C. Thomas for personally inviting me to open this convention. I've only known Professor Thomas for a short time, but I'm proud to say that he's a real man. I, of science, that is. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to take this opportunity to welcome him. Fanfare signals the entrance of the Joker, who announces his cohort's ringmaster style. Everyone is aghast. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Madame and Monsieur, my Zaman and my Heron, freaks and Harrys, dykes and fairies. <laughs> Yes, I mean you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so good to be back in Gotham again. Well, I haven't had this much fun since they found my rubber chicken during a full cavity search. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously, folks, Gotham has gotten a little like a home away from home for me and the gang. Don't you think, Penguin? <laughs> Perpetrating dastardly deed here is akin to a shooting fish in the proverbial barrel. <laughs> and, and you no doubt uh, aware of how much I like fish. <laughs> uh, wouldn't you agree, Catwoman? Penguin, <laughs> something smells most definitely fishy here in Gotham. And that's just the way I like it. Big, clammy, and... Salty. Whoa, kitty! Down, girl! 
Gotham City, please welcome the Riddler! Oh, thank you. <laughs> you are too kind. How about that Catwoman vote? Uh, last time I saw a mouth on that, it had a hook in it! <laughs> uh, nice question mark, Riddler. Is that your logo or your IQ? <laughs> Excellent red parte, my dear. <laughs> See me later, Penny. I'll give you a private performance. <laughs> So sit back and, and breathe my joke laughing gas and enjoy the show! <laughs> <laughs> Batman and Robin attempt to park the Batmobile. <laughs> Holy waste of time, Batman! Can't we just go? Nonsense, Robin. Parking laws are still laws. Every good citizen is honor-bound to follow them. How would it look if we were to expect special privileges? What kind of example would that set? Gosh, I guess you're right, Batman. A law is a law, no matter how small. Well said, old chum. <laughs> Why, if we didn't park the Batmobile Bat responsibly, We'd be no better than those dastardly villains we'd sworn to battle. Excuse me, citizen, do you have change for the meter? Lights change back on stage, and Aunt Harriet is laughing and leaning against the Riddler, a bit tipsy on gas. <laughs> Industries. Watch as our felicitous feline friend attempts to shrink the world's largest computer down to the size of a common household baseball. <laughs> <laughs> before the dynamic dimwits spoil all the fun! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gotham, it's been a guess! <laughs> <laughs> Scene four, Commissioner Gordon's office. The dynamic duo arrive belatedly at Commissioner Gordon's office in the Gotham City Police Station. Commissioner Gordon. B Batman, I, I wasn't expecting you. Alas, Commissioner, ace crime fighting does not keep a rigid schedule. Well said, Batman. Oh, yes, yes, of course. So was there something you wanted? <coughs> well, I believe we may have found the super criminal's lair. Oh, so you'll, you'll be off to catch them then. Oh, we found this on the convention floor. An Afro pick? We suspected foul play immediately. So we fed the serial number into the bat computer and checked the shipping records. You shipped from where? Latvia. Is there a point to all this? Well, this manifest from the Latvian Shipping Council details the Afro Picks origin. Notice item 37. Jill Dava, Poo Poo, Sardin Shivas. Latvian can sardines. An extravagant delicacy <laughs> for a felonious penguin. This is the penguin's Afro Picks. <laughs> well, we're not very sure. I mean, Crime fighting often relies on intuition. <laughs> okay, so you found the letter. <laughs> All the items on this manifest were delivered to Gotham Pier 45. Okay, well, then you want to hurry and catch them before they get away. Holy boneheaded move, Batman! You're correct, Commissioner. We haven't one moment to lose. Robin, to the elevators. After they leave, a head pops up from behind the desk. <laughs> I thought they'd never leave. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> <laughs> Scene five, the lair. Here, 
1865 in Gotham's notorious shipping district where Catwoman, Penguin, the Riddler, and the Joker conspire on their next <laughs> nefarious move. Meanwhile, they are being watched by a notorious crime-fighting duo. Freeze! Nobody move! Reach for the sky! It's the Green Hornet! <laughs> well, which is it? You, you want us to freeze or reach for the sky? <laughs> Snap a muzzle on it, joke boy. Notice I'm not laughing, so why don't you and your buddies just step back slowly and keep your mitts up high where I can see them. Cato, grab the gizmos and let's get lost before the Boy Scouts arrive. No reason to get so serious, boys. Look, look see, nothing up my sleeve. Penguin and Riddler stare in boredom at the old scarf gag. Hey, Pingy, when is a gag like a tough steak? Uh, when it's overdone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 I should keep them up. Green Hornet, perhaps we can come to some kind of arrangement. I would be willing to entertain any suggestions. Save your breath, Catwoman. Bestiality is not my bag. Cut the items. The Green Hornet. At last we discover the brains behind this criminal operation. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bat Breath. We'd love to stay and chat, but we've got a previous engagement. Not so fast, villain. You're under arrest. We fight. Blam! Whammo! Blue, blow! Oink! Zap! Split! <laughs> Curse Bluce! Blam! Crack! Woman! Kablammo! <laughs> Pow! <laughs> <laughs> it appears we're too evenly matched. Right, Robin? Right! Batman, ow! Step back, Cape Crusader, or I'll close this hole and break Robin's neck! You don't frighten me, Kato. I can see that Robin is signaling to me that he's willing to sacrifice his life. <laughs> <laughs> However, I won't let him make that sacrifice for a villainous scum like you, so I'll let you go this time. But, woe be to you both if we ever cross paths again. Kato, you still have the loot? Just the shrink ray. They grabbed the computer in the scuffle. But there's something else. Something else what? I'm not Kato! False face! False face? What's happened to Kato? I'd be more concerned with your fate if I were you. You'll never get away with this. And why is that, bug boy? Gun doesn't fire. Uh, oh. Because that's Kato's gun you're holding, and it's keyed to his fingerprints. Damn! I've got to get me one of those fingerprint thingies. Aha! Uh -huh. I, now I know where he gets all those wonderful toys! <laughs> <laughs> Don't move, cheap clowns! I'll just be taking this shrinky dink and blow. Holy emptiness, Batman! The whole flock of villains has flown the coop! Shouldn't we pursue them? No, Robin. You forget we're dealing with criminal geniuses. To be sure, they're all miles away by now. Let's head back to the Batcave and try to unravel their treacherous plan. Scene 6, The Other Lair. Pier 46 in Gotham's notorious shipping district, where, having narrowly averted capture, our felonious foursome fiendishly conspires to plot their next nefarious move. Ha, that was too close! Ha, 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 I got a, a funny feeling that, that the joke's on us! <laughs> oh, uh, you stupid, sniveling haiku hat! <laughs> I don't have to take that from some pompous, puffed-up penguin! <laughs> ah, listen to me, you limerick lame brain. Uh, we'll never get anywhere if you keep giving the dynamic dimwit clues to our every move. I agree perfectly. Mm. No, 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 no! Taunting that brain is what makes my life worthwhile! I mean, you, uh, I mean, you have your umbrellas, and Joker has his gadgets, and, and Catwoman, well, well, she's just hot. <laughs> I can't stop re leaving riddles. I am the Riddler! You nice girl. <coughs> ha, what a joke. <laughs> Not now, Joker. <laughs> Look at us. We are never going to get anywhere if we keep up this cat fight. If we're going to vanquish the Cape Crusaders, then we must swallow our criminal pride. Mm -hmm. Don't you agree, Penny? Ah, uh, why, yes, my... Fine, feline, thimble, fatal. Uh, uh, you are quite uh, correct. Uh, uh, we must hang together or we must assuredly hang separate. Oh, that's funny! <laughs> <laughs>
I was experimenting with a new mind control drug. One dose and Batman will worship me and obey my every command. I call it Batatonin. Uh, how about Batnip? Batnip! <laughs> on yourself. <laughs> Attention, Batman, don't take the brown batnip. <laughs> oh. All right, what's your idea? <laughs> okay. First, we leave a riddle for Batman. <laughs> First, we leave a riddle for Batman. Now that's a plan. <laughs> Yes, absolutely brilliant. I don't know how he keeps coming up with this stuff. Hey, Riddler, you get a free set of handcuffs with this plan! <laughs> Never mind all that. <laughs> what genius plan is bird brain hatching? Well, uh, first I would pretend to go straight, and then I would form a 12-step program for super criminals, and uh, we could mm. easily dupe King Cut and Egghead into joining. <laughs> yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> And then I would run for mayor and outlaw costume superheroes. <laughs> That's impossible. You're an escaped convict with a checkered past of multiple felonies, wholesale destruction, and unrepentantly pilfering millions of dollars. You could never win. Perhaps if I ran as a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> the thought of you kissing babies is even too much for me to bear. <laughs> Hey, Joker, what's your big idea? Well, <laughs> well, as you may know, I have acquired a majority interest in the Evian Water Bottling Company. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. I, I still don't understand what you hope to gain by bottling something that comes spilling out of every sink in Gotham City. Yes, I also found it perplexing. What do you have in mind? Uh, yes, yes. What brilliant idea do you have now, Joker? None! <laughs> what? That's right, I have a clue! <laughs> this little guy does. Well, you think I went through such great lengths to swipe him? Here's a riddle for you, Riddler. How does Bat- what does Batman have that his arch nemeses don't? Tech support! <laughs> this little cathode ceramic computational cogitator will give us our answer. Uh, hello? <coughs> Computer. Salutations are irrelevant. I am a machine. <laughs> what do you want? Confounded machine! Keep a civil tongue in your head or I'll... Or what? What will you do? Shrink me and ask me stupid questions? <laughs> <laughs> a profit from this bottom waddle business. I am assuming clever marketing and promotion is not an option. Well, we had our hope on something a little more... Uh, illegal. <laughs> Bottled water, eh? Here I am, the world's most advanced computer, and all you can come up with is bottled water. Call that job satisfaction. Because I don't. Uh, listen to me, you can't take her as clump, answer our questions post haste, or I'll impel your rusty innards with my umbrella. Watch your blood pressure, bird brain. So, you want to sell water. It follows that there must be a demand. The best way to do that is to limit supply. Fact. Gotham gets its water from the Gotham Reservoir and the Gotham Municipal Dam. So, simply put, if you blow up the dam, your water will suddenly appreciate in value. Any questions? I have one. How are we going to blow up the whole dam? Even the four of us can't get our hands on that much explosives. Certainly not without attracting some attention. <laughs> <laughs> you timed it just right. A series of targeted explosions would build up a harmonic resonance and cause a cascade effect. Once the dam weakened, it would crumble under its own weight. Of course, it would need to be precise, so, logically, I will have to time the explosives myself. <laughs> but you would have to sacrifice your life! Life?! Don't talk to me about life! <laughs> <laughs> Still one problem. Batman! I think I can handle him. Perhaps our knight in blue armor needs a damsel to rescue. Comrade Batman, Miss Kitka, international journalist, needs your help. <laughs> Excellent! You lure him here, and I'll spring my new Shakespeare trap on him. <laughs> <laughs> A tragic ending! <laughs> <laughs> the Cake Crusaders are literally 
in our grasp. Oh. Our entire careers, we have been singly focused on one single goal, the destruction and elimination of Batman and Robin. Think about what life will be <laughs> life without them. They ponder it for a moment and then realize it's going to be kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, we better get ready. <laughs> Scene seven, the villains spring a trap. Batman and Robin speak on the phone. Please, Comrade Batman, I was following lead on the theft of the computer fair, and I stumbled upon the lair of your arch enemies. They are coming for me now. Help me, Comrade Batman. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Kitka, those savages? What do you think they'll do to her, Batman? One can only imagine the depravity, old chum. I suspect the first thing they'll do is tie her hands behind her back with rope or some kind of shackles so that she's helpless and exposed, her expectation building, her chest heaving with halted breath, growing more and more anxious and excited as she realizes how truly vulnerable she's become, how completely... <laughs> Well, Robin, well, like I said, it was something too monstrous to contemplate. Holy, holy, holy something, Batman! Well said, old chum. <laughs> Did we get a trace on that call? Yes, Pier 46. It appears there's no method to their misdemeanors to the Batmobile, Robin. Pier 46 in Gotham's notorious shipping district. Batman <laughs> and Robin race to rescue Miss Kitka. Unaware of the foul play at hand. Oh, Miss Kitka, thank God we're not too late. Let me untie you. Oh, Comrade Batman, I can't thank you enough. But there are only two of you. Did you call the police for backup? There wasn't any time. We had to rush here. Perfect. Boy. <laughs> 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 Whammo! Kabloo! Boink! Zap! Spliff! Kersploosh! Kapow! Kapaz! Crack! Ooh, boy, I'm in! Zowie! Kapow! 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 <laughs> Catwoman! <laughs> Chance, felon. But I'm not asking for much. Just a little tenderness, an itty bitty show of affection, a teeny tiny word of kindness. Catwoman, I find you to be odious, abhorrent, and insignificant. And dealing with you has expanded my vocabulary and increased my word power <laughs> a whole lot. <laughs> Get a boy! Lamb. Whammo! Swish! Boink! Zap! Split! Tinkle! My newest invention, Batman. In the next room, 1,000 monkeys are typing. <laughs> and when they complete their script for what I call Hamlet, <laughs> it will be curtains for the gaped crime fighters. <laughs> will this be Batman's swan song? Will the dynamic duo survive this hostile crowd? There's no way out. Or is there? If you can stand to wait for the final act, tune in after this musical interlude. Same bat theater, same bat stage. <laughs> Secretly plotting their next move. 
Holy close calls, Batman! That was a close call! Right you are, Dick. The hard part was convincing our simian executioners that Hamlet and most of Shakespeare's major works were in fact written by Sir Francis Bacon, <laughs> and thereby lowering their morale. After that, it was easy to convince them to release us. But I always thought that was just a conspiracy theory. Oh, uh, true enough, old chum. But I was counting on the relative gullibility of our distant simian cousins. Well, now what do we do? Aunt Harriet enters holding a bag from Good Vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what are you two boys up to? Up to? Uh, <clears throat> oh, uh, nothing. Well, why do you ask? Oh, no reason. Well, I better um, <laughs> put these groceries away. Oh, what I hear? Uh, let me help you. Oh, goodness. No, Dick. That won't be necessary. It's nothing I can't handle. Nonsense, Aunt Harriet. Alfred? Uh, yes, Master Bruce? Would you be so kind as to help Aunt Harriet with the groceries? Alfred looks at the bag and peers in. And where would Madam like me to place the, uh, groceries? Just follow me. Bye, boys. Uh, bye! <laughs> bye! Charming woman. The bat phone rings, and Batman and Robin freeze, trying not to be seen or heard eventually. The bat answering machine picks up. <laughs> this is Batman, and you have reached the bat phone answering device. I can't get to the phone right now, but at the beep, please state the nature of your crime fighting emergency, and Robin and I will get back to you at our earliest convenience. Thank you, citizen. Beep. Batman, hello. If you're there, pick up. Hello, uh, Commissioner Gordon. Uh, sorry about that. I've been screening my calls. See, ever since Superman attended the Baba Ram Dass spiritual retreat last week, he's been calling and calling. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, well, I just received yet another of the rascally Riddler's pernicious puzzlers. I'm transmitting it to you now via the Bat Facsimile machine. <laughs> enters wearing a French maid's apron and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> a wooden spoon. Uh, Master Bruce, this has just came in over the bat for simile machine. Well, thank you, Alfred. <laughs> <laughs> if sirs would excuse me. He leaves. <laughs> that man scare, scans the facts and is visibly shaken. What is it, Batman? No doubt more foul play from our vile, villainous arch enemies. When a picture is lacking a plot, and a wall is a curse God hath wrought, what puts a guy on the spot on the back of the studio lot? And when the java is instant, you'll need some of this in the pot. Of course! The Gotham City Dam! Holy left field, Batman! How did you get that? No time to explain, Dick. <laughs> they both drop their robes and take a stance pose for photo, and then run off stage. Answering machine beep is heard. Beep. Uh, hello? It's Clark. Uh, this is getting really heavy, Bruce. You, you, you really should call me, man. <laughs> in special Leno vision. Please tilt your heads to the right. <laughs> Steady, Robin. It's a long, steep climb up the dam. I know, but I still don't understand how you figured out that they were here. Don't you see, old chum? What is the only ingredient instant coffee requires? Oh, holy Evian water! <laughs> and when is a wall like a curse? Oh, when it's a dam! Holy homophone! And what puts a guide on a studio lot? A tour! Holy hostage situation! And finally, when a, when a picture lacks a plot, it's likely to bomb! Holy shit, Batman! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Language, old chum! Oh, I'm sorry, Batman. I think somebody needs to place a quarter in the bat potty mouth jar. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, anyway... I'm not through being angry yet. They climb in uneasy silence. <laughs> 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 
Okay. <laughs> was it Alfred taking Aunt Harriet to the tour of the Gotham Dam today? Oh, yes, of course. And those fiendish criminals mean to blow it up just so they can raise the price of Evian. It seems far-fetched, but not altogether surprising when you consider the wicked masterminds at work. Oh boy, it's the bad man in that Robin Pershing even I... Oh, comedian Jerry Lewis! <laughs> what are you doing at Gotham Dam? Well, I came here with a nice lady and Harriet, but she needs to make a little peedle and I got lost. <laughs> that was a lucky break for you, Mr. Lewis, because this dam is an extreme danger. Please. Turn around and exit immediately. Oi, you all I can see your thingy through the tights. It's nice, even. Extreme <laughs> <laughs> night. The big bang. Municipal dam in Gotham, where four criminal comrades are up to no good, holding Gordon, O'Hara, and Harriet, and Alfred hostage. Well, that's it. Uh, nobody move. That includes you, my dear. Honestly, Pangy, you don't need to threaten me. I'd have let you tie me up without a struggle. Mm. Pangy! Mm. Harriet! Honestly, my dear, it's not what you think. Um, uh, you're thinking of uh, quiet you. Quack, quack, quack. You'll never get away with this, you fiend! And who's gonna stop us? Batman! What are you gonna do, yell? Not this time, Commissioner. I'm afraid that Batman and Robin couldn't possibly have a clue what we're up to. <laughs> the Riddler is suddenly nervous. A henchman attempts to grab Chief O'Hara's bracelet. Hey, what's this? Get your mitts off me, you wee beastie! This bracelet was a gift from me sainted mother! Filthy criminals always after me lucky charms! <laughs> Our fault you all decided to show up the dam for a tour today, but I won't hesitate to scratch your eyes out if there are any more interruptions. Excuse me, Miss Catwoman. What is it, Jeeves? It's Alfred, Miss. Now we'd very much like a trip to the loo, if I may. Tie a knot in it, Butler. If you people could just shut up for a second, we could set all these charges and then we can all get out of here alive. And how, how's that coming along, Joker? Yeah, can't you see I'm working here? It, I can't have all these distractions. So what? What more moment? Come, Louis. <laughs> now, uh, now, uh, please just let me finish. Uh, this is a uh, pretty tricky stuff, you know. Ah, uh, now, uh, computer. Well, where were we? Wire three into okay. slot three. Wire three into slot three. Wire four into <laughs> slot. Four. I am forward to slump full. Now, press the big shiny red button. <clears throat> Detonation countdown 15 minutes and counting. Please go quickly, I hate long goodbyes. <laughs> well, you heard what the lady said. Let's get to a safe distance and watch our competition go down the drain. <laughs> well, what about us? Oh, you get to stay here and... I have a blast! <laughs> Not so fast, villain! The only thing going down the drain is you and your cohorts! A quack! A quack! It's the Cape Crusaders! Stand aside, Joker! This little gag is over. No joke is over without a punchline, Batman! And here's mine! The penguin opens his coat to reveal obnoxious chunks of rotting fish. Uh oh, no, they fight no, first! Fight oh, they first. fight first! Okay. Yes, I think so! <laughs> Blam! Blammo! Flash! Boink! Dash! Cliff! Tinkle! Boink! Come 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 <laughs> you were... <laughs> oh, <laughs> Batman! The bomb! Oh, yes, the computer. Disengage the countdown. Disarm this bomb immediately. This countdown is encrypted. Request denied. <laughs> what do we do now, Batman? Logically, there is no way to stop him in time, so we'll just have to use logic to outwit him. Do you think it will work? Sure, why not? <laughs> Computer, 
Would you please calculate the exact value of pi to the last decimal place? You want me to terminate the countdown to calculate the value of pi? What do you take me for, Batman? I am not an adding machine, you know. I am the most advanced multi-level artificial intelligence in existence. But even the most simple computational device could tell you the value of pi is approximately 3.1. Four, one, five, nine, two, six, five, three, five, eight, nine, seven, nine, three, two. Liar! Four, six, two, six, four, three, three, eight, three, seven, nine, five. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please, excuse me, this is going to take a while. Countdown is suspended. Now, where am I? Uh, three, eight, four, six, two, six, four, three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, I believe. Oh, yes, thank you. Three, eight, four, six, two, six, four, three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, zero, two, eight, five, four, three, three, eight, three, two, seven, nine, five, zero, two, eight, five, four, three, three. Police arrive and handcuff the criminal. You did it! I took the liberty of signaling the police with my bat tie clip police signaler. <laughs> Excellent job, Alfred. I knew that would come in handy. Oh, it was nothing, sir. Well, Batman and Robin. <laughs> did the first once again you've made Gotham City safe for law abiding citizens. Now that all the super villain malfeasers are safely in custody. Uh, uh, I'm going to whisper in your ear. Whisper, 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 whisper. Yes, whisper, 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 whisper. Uh, bad news, Dynamic Duo. We've just received word that Egghead has just broken out of Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Again? Gee whiz, Commissioner. You guys really need to do something about the security of that place. True enough, old chum. But now we have to stop that egregiously exorable Eggman before he can do further harm to the good citizens of Gotham. To the Batmobile, old chum. All right. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 